During an episode of The Five on Fox News this week, things got a little heated between hosts Greg Gutfield and Geraldo Rivera. You see, they were talking obviously about the Supreme Court possibly overturning Roe v. Wade, and Gutfield was sitting there smug as usual, defending this, saying, hey, it's great, but also taking a shot at pro-choice advocates here in the United States. And it was at that point that Geraldo apparently became enraged to the point where he had to interject and of course, throw a couple of insults at the smug little gut field. So take a look at the exchange that happened on Fox News is the five this week. Anywhere on social media, it's something to celebrate, to cherish, right? The to unpoured, shout. to oh, shout. That's the, the, baloney. No, well, yes, that's baloney. Let, I, I can, I'll give cherish you evidence. Cherish the, the wire hanger stuck up their private oh, stuff. Trying on. to get what? The, what? Come on. Uh, the unborn child. What? Come on. That's the unborn the, the child world becomes, becomes, before Rome. This is exactly oh, what I expected. Ah, oh, uh, they bring out the old coat You are arrogant. Go, go for it. Geraldo, come on, keep going. Okay, Joey, You're making a fool on of yourself. This, on this, <laughs> don't, don't you? You know something? <laughs> what? You insulting punk? <laughs> okay. Oh, what? Am I your new Joey, Bongino? Go. <laughs> go. If Joey. you want that role, Joey, <laughs> all right, go. All right. You've sat hey, listen, here so listen. patiently, Joe. Now, for the record, Geraldo's right. Just so everybody knows, and I'm pretty sure everybody watching this agrees, Geraldo is correct here. But what really stands out to me about this clip, the thing that just kind of pisses me off the most is the smugness, right? The arrogance exuding from Greg Gutfield. And this is how he always, is. he's got his laid back stance. And he's just like, what you got, man? Yeah, 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 I'm a badass, right? I don't even have to sit up straight because I'm so badass. Who the hell are you? And I mean that legitimately, like Greg Gutfield kind of came out of nowhere and he is popular on Fox news. Absolutely. He's got his little humor show that he still does that somehow hasn't failed. So sure. You're a popular Fox news host, but beyond that, seriously, Greg, who are you? America knows who Geraldo Rivera is. He's had some ups and downs in his career. I don't agree with everything he says and does politically, but Geraldo has earned a reputation as an actual journalist here in the United States. Again, He's had plenty of misses, very famous primetime misses, as you know, I'm sure <laughs> the young folks in the audience may not understand that, but the rest of us like, we remember. He also had a very popular daytime talk show. Geraldo has put in the work. Geraldo has earned the right to be a little smug and arrogant if he so chose. But Gutfield, you're sitting there acting like you're king of the world just because people on Fox News know who you are. Aside from those of us in the media, I guarantee you, if they're not a Fox news viewer and they saw you on the street, they wouldn't know who you were. They wouldn't care more importantly who you were. But again, back to the main point here, Geraldo is right. And not just about Gutfield being an insulting punk, but he's right about what is going to happen to women in this country. We're going to go back to the days of the, you know, so-called back alley abortions. Women's lives will be in danger. They're already, by the way, talking about putting laws in place that will prevent what is being termed abortion tourism. Some states are already, uh, uh, Louisiana, I believe it is. Maybe it's Mississippi. I forget which one there, you know, but one of them is putting, trying to put a law in place that will actually make it legal to charge women with murder if they have an abortion at any point, at any time, for any reason. This isn't just about Roe v. Wade being overturned. This is about women's lives and livelihoods being put in danger by Republicans like Greg Gutfield. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.